Hey, good afternoon guys, Henry at Cliff Jones RV and Tractor in Sealy, Texas. All right guys, today's special that we're coming to you is gonna be on the Mahindra 1626 with the shuttle shift transmission, four wheel drive tractor with a loader. All right guys, we'll start up here in the front. Lifting capacity of this front end loader at the pins is 1,560 pounds, guys. Picks up quite a bit more than the other brands. You would usually compare this one to the L2501 or the John Deere 3025E. So, but the capacity, like I said, is 1,560 pounds, so it picks up quite a bit, guys. And I do have a personal video out there where I'm picking up like a four by five round belt with no problems at all, guys. It is a universal skid steer bucket. Uh, you do have a bucket level indicator when it's flat at the top. That means your bucket's flat on the ground, so you can actually pull these pins back up away from it. So you can put that pallet forks or a spear or even a grapple up here in the front. You can do that. All right, it does have the LED lights up in here, so those incandescent bulbs, you don't have to worry about them burning out. These burn a little brighter, okay? And if you'll notice that you're on your, on your axle, your front axle, and this is four-wheel drive, your steering arms are behind the axles, not in front. So when you're out there doing that back and forth loader work, you don't have to worry about damaging or hitting it on there, okay? Steel, not plastic. You do have easy access to get to your engine. See how quickly that was, guys? This is gonna be a three-cylinder Mitsubishi engine. You do have your two compartment air filter, one inside the other. Right below that is your easy access to your battery. Your front end can come off and your side panels do pop off also, guys. Okay, that's pretty simple here. All right, access to put your fuel in, pretty simple right here on top, not down below. Working right here, you do have a you do have tilt wheel, so you feel comfortable wherever you may be at. And also your seat does adjust back and forth also, okay? But uh, with this one, it's gonna be your parking brake. You do have a two, two brake system on here, one on each back wheel, or you can turn it off and choose, choose it for the one. Pretty simple to disengage, just like that, guys. Takes it off. All right, so this is gonna be the shuttle shift transmission. What I mean by that is you have a high and low range, and it's a synchronized transmission. And what I mean by that, you know, we've got a high and low four speeds, and it's forward, reverse, and neutral from the column. You can shift this on the fly, and that's what I mean. It's a synchronized transmission. You don't have to come to a complete stop to put it in your gear and then go again. Okay? To engage your to engage your uh, your PTO, put it there. This is for your rear PTO, and then you also have one for a mid mount PTO for maybe a snowblower. Uh, back in the days, they had a 72 inch mid mount deck. I haven't seen one in a while, guys, but you can add, actually add one. And then to turn on your cutter, get your clutch in. As soon as you pop your clutch in, take this off. This is, this is to engage it. And then to stop it, all you gotta do is just press it down, okay? Loader handle's in a really good position too, guys, really close to you. It also has a loader lock, so now somebody's mess, somebody can't mess with it while it's in the air, okay? And then you can take that off, okay? Uh, clutching is on that side. That's your clutch, so whenever you are going from your certain ranges where you're at, this is gonna be your differential lock to lock the back wheels down. And then four wheel drive is on and off from right there. Okay, this will be a raise and lower your three points in the rear. I will put five foot implements back here. Let the capacity of the rear end is 2,600 pounds, guys, in that rear. So it picks up quite a bit. Whenever you are raising lower your three points, this knob will restrict the fluid so you don't slam it to the ground, restrict the fluid, or cut it completely off. Pretty simple there. To check your fluid, right here, guys. That's the 710 cap. Y'all know anything about that? It means 710, it's upside down, says oil. <laughs> Tractable seat belt. You have armrest, cup holders on both sides, the foldable rops that do fold down so you can put them in a shed, barn, or a garage. You do have a little toolbox on here. Before I forget, we can put a canopy on that for you too to keep you out of the weather. I've seen some people do some pretty amazing things with canopies, putting LED lights front and rear, Bluetooth speaker, little fan blowing on you so you feel like you're a cab tractor, guys. Okay, <laughs> cast iron rear end. You got a standard draw bar that comes with the tractor, it's mounted behind the scene with some little fly nuts. Okay, cat one hookup in the rear. Uh, like I said, four wheel drive is on and off. Uh, we do create tractor packages, five foot cutter, five foot box blade, tillers, uh, rear post hole diggers with six, nine or 12 inch auger bits. We have them all in stock, including utility trailers, bumper pool or gooseneck. Um, we do finance up to 84 months. We can deliver all across the United States. So if you're interested in this tractor right here, the Mahindra 1626 shuttle shift transmission, before you take possession of anything here, we will fill it up with fuel, top up the fluids. My technician will do a complete walkthrough, answer any technical questions that you might have at that time, and then have you in and out of here within an hour, guys. So, so if you're interested in this tractor or any other 200 that I have on my lot, guys, 
please give us a call here uh, at Cliff Jones in Sealy, Texas, where we make digging dirt, cutting grass, and financing easy.